story of a man named Saul. Saul was a principled and diligent man. He hated heretics and he always had a plan. But Saul had a crucial part missing from life. For Saul did not know Christ. So Saul... So Saul made his mind to persecute each of the followers of Christ and all who preached. The church was in fear of the infamous Saul who would beat or stone or imprison them all. He asked the high priest for a complete listing of all the Damascus Christians. priest said, I'm glad you asked us about all of the Christians who are living in Damascus. So Saul hit the road that very next day to imprison all the followers of the way. But as he traveled the road to Damascus, Saul was stopped in his tracks. Us. Down from heaven, a light shone brightly, a voice said, Saul, why persecute me? Saul and his friends all together heard, as the voice declared, I am the Lord. Renounce your ways and follow me, get up and go to the city. His companions hadn't seen it, but they heard the sound. They came and helped Saul up from the ground. But as Saul stood up, he would come to find. Though his eyes were open, he was totally blind. But Saul did just as the Lord demands, so his friends led him there by the hand. Next, the Lord appeared to Ananias, the Christian, and he said, Ananias, need to go on a mission. Saul is coming here, for him you will search, and take him back and introduce him to the church. Ananias said, you kidding, that guy's bad news. The Lord said, he is the instrument I choose. <laughs> Christ was sent for the world to see, not just his friends and family in Galilee. My church will grow, my people will be legions, and Saul will spread the name to far out regions. He will suffer for my name and the truth thereof. Now go and show him love. Ananias walked to the place Saul dwelled. At once the scales from Saul's eyes fell. Saul could see, and he was baptized. The Holy Spirit he now recognized. Saul went on to teach and to monologue in the local synagogue. To warmly thank all of those who listen to our story from start to close. Remember the lesson that we learned from Saul to dutifully respond whenever the Lord calls. Even if you make up your mind to ignore God's will, the Lord may have use for you still. Remember to be like Ananias of Damascus, to do whatever the Lord will ask us. Though it means calling a villain your brother, you're shining the light one to another. And thereby helping God's work to fulfill, for God will call whomever he will.
We will. We got enough people. So that's part of our goal. So it is a celebration of family that we want to focus in on for the next few minutes. Keep it straight. 
bro. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. I was like all nervous when we first went in. Then at the end, I was like, oh, this is awesome. It was a really cool trip, wasn't it? You get, you get used to being uh, yeah. dangerous when you do these. Hey. Good job. Good job. Don't leave it with. 